NBA mm-hmm. was a competition, was still a competition league, then these guys would stop doing that. Yes, agree. Okay. 100%. Okay. I agree. Okay, thanks. Again, as mm-hmm. I hang out with my friends tonight, I'm going to be telling them, y'all heard what Coach Thor said. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, I think uh, he was asking me who was the best. I don't know if you asked me that or I, I thought you said it. The best player I've coached. Did you ask that? Yeah, yeah, best player you coached. The best player, I'm going to give you uh, three. Okay. Uh, Michael Herman. Michael Herman was was that guy that should have been a pro. Most talented kid I've ever coached, without question. Best winner, mm-hmm. Jonathan Mills. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with him, but he's just yes. amazing. He was uh, I thought the best rebounder I've ever seen, the best winner. Just did whatever it took to win. Didn't need the ball to do it. And John Taylor. No, I'm not familiar with him. John Taylor led uh, the National uh, Junior College Association in Storm two years in the world. Just an mm. amazing, amazing star. And uh, he came to North Lawndale. We, you know, we had guys that were stars in their own right. And mm-hmm. he was willing to sacrifice his game uh, for the team. He was about winning. And those three guys really stood out in my mind. Just amazing, amazing talent. Okay. Uh, if, uh, uh, okay, man, there's so many questions in regards to this. There's so many questions I have in regards to this one. Uh, the best team you've seen in Chicago basketball? Oh, wow. Man, I like that question. The best team, a few of them that I, I thought were really, really good. Well, uh, let's just go top five. Let's go top five. Let's do that. I, and, and, and this is not in any particular order. Right. I like that Peoria Manual team. Mm. Uh, they had, I, I want to say they had one, two or three years in a row. That was mm-hmm. amazing. I like that with the young team with Cordell Henry, uh, Chief Biller. Mm-hmm. That was a, a, a very, very good team. I'm going to take you back a few years. I really like that team with Russell Frost and uh, Tim Anderson. Yes. Uh, man, that was Ron Washington. That was a very, at my time, that was the best team I had seen. Uh-uh. Uh, I don't know if you remember this team some years ago with the Douglas brothers on it, Tennessee. That was a very, very strong team as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like that team, that team team with the with the with the two twins out towers on it, uh, Rashard Griffin and, and uh, Thomas Hamilton. Yeah, Rashard Griffin and uh yeah, they had uh Michael Herman was on that team. Uh, that team I thought was voted. Uh, I like that team with uh E Rowe. That's Simeon team. That was a very good team. That was I think that's the most underrated team in Chicago recent history. And that team that team. I, I watched that team and I was always playing. And I, and I thought Chief D. Rose was one of those guys that was about winning. You know, he was about winning. He cared about his teammates. He was, he yeah. was another team that people uh, misunderstand. I mean, he's such a, a good guy. Such a good guy. He played in my all-star game in the next grade. And he was, he was like that then. You know, he, he was about winning, about his teammates. He was very unselfish guy. Hey, and I was, it's funny that you say that. I was talking to somebody this week, and I said, I think Derrick Rose's career would have lasted longer had he, if they had left his mental state, I mean, basketball mental state the way it was. Because the way I saw D. Rose leaving Simeon, he was more of a facilitator. He could take over a game when he wanted to, but he was more of a facilitator. Yeah. They turned him into a scorer, and that messed him up. You, th- you How do you feel about that? Um, I, I don't know if it hurt his game 
again, he was just so unselfish anyway. I think he was that type of guy that the coach go to him and say, hey, Derek, and he just take over. Mm-hmm. We, 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 we're not playing well right now. I need you to rebound for him. I need you to sit, I need you to get the ball to, to uh, Brian for him. I need mm-hmm. this to happen. Whatever you needed to happen, their goals made sure it happened. And I think when he got to the Bulls, I think they said was to say, hey, we need you to score. And that's when he showed that part of his game that people didn't realize that was there. I knew it was there because I was going to do it. But a lot of people didn't know what a dynamic scorer he was. I'm one of those people. I I just really? I I did I didn't I didn't see it because I would go to the games like the state, you know, uh, what was the uh, city championship games, and I'd check out a game here or there. And he was just, he was taking over the game with his presence more than his offense. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I, you know, I knew he could, like, like you say, I knew he could score, but I definitely did not say, oh, man, this dude is going to be a scorer. I, I, I just didn't see it. I, I, and that's why wow. I felt the one I, I got felt. A question. Okay. The best little man. Uh, you know I'm partial. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to go with the guys at Westerhouse, man. Uh, 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 the two. I don't know if they were twins, uh, but they, they, the Banks boys. They, they played with Fred Banks. Uh, 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 the, Bailey boy. Boy. the Bailey boys. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm openly biased though. What about you? Yeah, they were. I would go one for one to count. Jimmy Sanders. Jimmy Sanders. Hey. Jimmy Sanders. Yeah, Jimmy Sanders. Good old guy. Uh, also, I have to pick back. One of the best little guys ever. My mom, my thing. Probably the best shooter ever played in Chicago. You know what? I've never seen him play. But I've heard his name for years and years and years and years. Unlimited range. Unlimited range. He's one of those guys, back to our guys. But he's a little guy, so he didn't make it to the NBA because of the size. Okay. Uh, I don't, you know, they, everybody calls it the Mount Rushmore. I call it the Supreme mm. Court. I call it Supreme Court because I don't think you can sum it up in four players. Because if you say, oh, these are the best four players, then I think that's cheating. You know what? Let me do one more question, then I'm going to go to the Supreme Court. Who okay. are the best, the best coaches, the top five coaches that you coached against, the coach that made you go, you know what, I got to be on my game today? That I've seen or that I've coached against? Both. Okay. Uh, man, Rob over at Zinyad is, is the real deal. So a lot okay. of people think he wins. He wins because he has talent. And he does get a lot of talent. But man, that dude's a coach. He can just flat out coach. He okay. has a system in place. The players buy in. They believe in him. They believe in his system. And they carry out the mission. So I would definitely have to put him. Put him one of the best I've, I've ever coached against, one of the best I've ever seen. Um, I got to put, uh, and a lot of people might disagree, but you got to look at his resume. Tyrone yeah. Bonner does, he does an excellent job. He does an, I, I really enjoy coaching at this time. Okay. I mean, we've had some battles. And I enjoy it. It's truly, there's a lot of coaches I've, I've gone up against, and I, you know, I, I, I kind of can predict their moves, and I can prepare for them the right way. Todd, you don't know which way he's going to come at you. You, you just don't know. And it's, it's fun playing that game of chess with him. So I would definitely have to put uh, Tyrone Slaughter in there. Uh, Chris Head. Chris Hale was, uh, yeah, Chris Hale was good, man, real, real good. And, and I don't think he's overlooked. I think everybody knows he's good. Uh, I enjoy coaching against Chris Hale. Uh, I don't want to overlook somebody. 
Um, and I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to look at the talent. I'm looking mm-hmm. at the method. I'm, I'm looking at uh, what they bring to the table. That's right, a lot right. Of uh, I've, I've seen them practice. I've watched them practice, and uh, you know, some of them just got it. And you know, some of them I can say, "Ooh, I got to steal that." Um, okay. Let's see. This is. Uh, I like William Nelson. I think he's mm. always been good. I think he does the most with the least amount of talent. I know when we go head to head, it's a, it's a serious rivalry, plus on him, special on me, and I think we're both at our best when, you know, when it, when it's that type of pressure. So, uh, when we're in that and that and that uh, and that type of competition where we have that fear or that serious rivalry. <laughs> and uh, let's see, that last coach who is that? Me. Mm-hmm. I think on that one because I know I'm, I'm going to miss somebody, uh, but I can tell you two coaches that's probably really overlooked that's really good. Gary London, really, really, really I don't know if you know Coach the Hill, mm-hmm. Oh, no, really, I'm not really familiar with him. Okay. Uh, really, really good coach. Uh, Longstreet, really, really, really good coach. Those are the two. Lou Adams, you know, Stone, Cardo. Uh, I think we're a lot alike in some way. Okay. Uh, but he's, he's a good coach. Uh, he does it. Uh, so, okay. you know, those are the names that come to mind right away. And I know when we stopped talking, I was like, oh, man, I forgot about this guy, this guy. I forgot about this other guy. Those are people going to be listening to the station. They're going to throw this guy up. And, I, and I'm sure I am forgetting about this. Okay. But I enjoy, I really enjoy coaching against those guys. I enjoy coaching against Henry Cotton over at, at Marshall. Good coaching out before I tell you. Yeah. Really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, Now, I'm going to close it out with this question. Uh, Like I said, when people go, uh, give me the top five players, I think you can't do top five players without without truly cheating. I'm a top four player system. No, Rushmore, because it's basketball. Got five people on the court at all times, so you can't do top four. Who would you be your Mount Rushmore in Chicago high school basketball history? Ooh. Or, you know, right. Supreme Court, so to speak. Supreme, because we're going right. to get, we're gonna, right. give me get nine players that, hey, Are we these are the guys. Uh, Chicago Public League? Oh, well, you know what? We can go Illinois if you like. The no, nine guys that, that define no, no, Illinois no. basketball. Right. Okay. Um, I think you got to put Michael Herman on that list. Most, without a doubt. I think you have to put Kevin Garnett on that list. Okay, stop. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. Oh, uh, I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Go ahead. Yeah, because I, I, I've been fighting that fight for years. <laughs> I've been, I don't want to give him shit. He's not us. Yeah, uh, but I'm going to give you that one. This is your list. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I've been, and I have to put him on there because you know he he attended Chicago Public School, okay, graduated, played a year. Uh, so I like those three. I oh, what's the with, third dude? Uh, third dude. I didn't get the third guy. Uh, Roddy Field, Michael Herman. Uh, Kevin Garnett, mm-hmm. and the other two. No, no, we gonna go nine. We gonna go nine, cause. Okay, that makes it easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Man, man, you gotta put Benny Wilson, Benny Wilson out there. Gotta do Ben. Gotta do Ben. Gotta, gotta put him on there. So I got Benny Wilson. I got D Rose. That would be five. Um, let's see who else. Oh my God! 
Okay, I said, of course. Thomas, 